It is a lifesaver, but it's been a long time coming. Malaria is an ancient curse, and it preys in the most part on the youngest, the most vulnerable. Vaccine trials here in Malawi and elsewhere have proved successful against a disease that across Africa kills more than a quarter of a million children under the age of five each year. Tonight, there is a real prospect of that appalling toll being consigned to the past. I started my career as a malaria researcher and I longed for the day that we would have an effective vaccine against this ancient and terrible disease. And today is that day, an historic day. Malaria is a disease transmitted by mosquitoes from one human to another, a parasite that has evolved to evade our immune system and much harder to tackle than bacterial or viral infections like coronavirus. It accounts for the deaths of more than 400,000 people each year, the majority in sub-Saharan Africa, and it kills one child every two minutes. Trials on 800,000 children showed the vaccine prevented 30% of severe cases. Combined with existing treatments, protection rises to 70% in the peak malaria seasons. The vaccine is a result of decades of work. Its developers say they can supply up to 15 million doses a year for no more than 5% above the costs. But who will pay is not yet clear. A major challenge is going to be um, the max vaccine manufacturer, the, the vaccine deployment, um, to get the vaccine available um, to um, the large number of children in that tropical zone of Africa that could truly really benefit from it. Here in Malawi, there will be real cause for celebration. Malaria places a heavy burden on a fragile health service. And even over the past year, it has been a bigger killer than COVID-19. For centuries, it has been a disease they have had to learn to live with and to die from. Tonight, for the first time, there is hope they can learn to live without it. John Ray, News at 10, Malawi.